in the place. Them want to wind them ways. Tell them for our dinner ace. For the bang bang embrace. Yeah. Early money low, she get it good from she rise. But put it on so good, I make she shake all she ties. Smile upon her face, me know she please with this eyes. Come in around to make them girl roll out them eyes. Shaggy, what's up, man? Bless, bless, bless. It's lovely to meet you here in Jamaica right now. Well, I don't you know, see much of Jamaica. I, I <laughs> well, we are, believe it or not, we're yeah, in Kingston, but right? We're in Kingston, but yeah. You know. Away from Pan the sun. Pandemic life, you know, exactly. so you have to. Exactly. You know, yeah. so how have you been? It's been good. Um, yeah. You know, apart from the pandemic and the fact that we can move around, uh, you know, we're just trying to make the best. Yeah. Of, uh, not so great situation. Yeah, and you've been keeping very busy. That's, that's for my sanity. Yeah, adapting to <laughs> the ways of life right yeah, now, yeah, I guess, right? Yeah, that's you've for my sanity. Keep, keep yeah. my business so I don't. <laughs> and go you've got crazy. Go Down There, which is a banger with Sean Paul and Spice. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that track. How long did you guys have that in the making? I, you know, it was a track that I had for, for a while. Um, yeah. Uh, one of my producers, uh, I've with him for years, uh, he signed my production company. So, uh, you know, we had a couple of songs that we made. When Spice approached me to do a song together, I ended up um, checking out, you know, all her stuff and realized that, um, you know, she hadn't put out an album for a while. Yeah. And, I, and she's never done one, period. Yeah. And just kind of listened to songs to see what type of song I write. So when she came, you know, I'd written about four songs, which she, she cut. And, um, you know, she really loved all the, all the song. And then I ended up playing her a couple other stuff I had and Colombia was one of them. Yeah. And so, she and she was like, Wow, I wanna be on that track. Yeah. She wanted to be on it as you know, asked if I could put her in as a feature wow, on it. And I said it. You know, while while I said, you know, I could just make it your track if we're doing an, an album at Don't. the same time and I'll do better and try and make it be her track and so yeah. just switch some of the lyrics around and make it be make her be the focal yeah. part of it. I love that, and obviously it was number one on the Reggae Global chart. So it's been massive, doing very well, yeah. massive congratulations! It's very catchy, and obviously I'm sure it's got the girls dancing. Yeah, you have to have, you have, to have strong legs. <laughs> I don't think I have, you know. Yeah. But I have to give it a go. I might have to do a little TikTok when I get back to yeah. London, you know, Shaggy. <laughs> I have to give a little test. I'm not a dancer, so I have to do a bit of training. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. So you're obviously um, producing Spice. You work on Spice's album at the moment. I'm co. I'm co-producing. Um, I'm producing co-producing yeah. and co-writing and wow. executive production yeah. also. Uh, so it's really just putting the whole thing together uh, because I see the potential of Spice and it's yeah. it's, inc it's an incredible it's potential amazing. that she has. Yeah. Um, and she's a workaholic. I love that about her. She's a workhorse. I love that. And um, always filled with, with ideas, especially where social media is concerned. And yeah. Her ideas are, are, are amazing, and um, I just think we would have made a good team, so we yeah. just went ahead and, and went for it. And, and the, the, the energy was nice, the synergy yeah. was good, you know? I love that. Well, as a bagger, so congratulations again. So talk to me about your inspirations. Who would you say is your inspirations, or what, or what even? It might not even be a who. I mean, I'm inspired by just regular people and everyday yeah. life, you know? Mm. Um, there's people in music that I, that I look up to, like, yeah. like the greats, you know, as far as songwriting, I would... You know, I think that the, the songwriting is a craft. Yeah. You know, but it's what you, it's how what you put to the craft. Yeah. You know, and still everything, no matter how big or small it is, it still boils down to the song, the song, the song. You know, you can have two of the biggest artists. I remember there was a, a song with um, Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey, which is a massive, massive collaboration at yeah. the time. But I bet you can't sing the song. <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah. it still it doesn't matter how large you are, yeah. how big you are. It makes no difference. It still yeah. boils down to the song. Mm. So I'm always really just focused on perfecting the song and the art um, of the song. Yeah. And so I, 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 I you know, follow people like you know the Beatles, of course, yeah. Lionel wow. Richie, mm. um, people like the great Bob Marley, people like um, Bob Andy, who are great, song, great songwriters. Yeah. You know, um, Barrys, of course. You know, and then in dance hall, you have lyricists like. You know, super cat, Joseph mm. Wheels, people like those, cat, you know? Yeah, yellow man and all that. So, yeah, man. Old school. And then, you know, so there's, so there's many, I can't narrow it down to any one particular artist. Yeah. There are many people, and I'm still being inspired today by new artists. Yeah, I mean, course. I might look at what at a certain artist go and their flow and what they're doing, and mm. I was like, wow, that's innovative. And I'll take that and make my 
do a spin off of it, almost like a hybrid of what yeah. they do. I love I, that. And what I call shagitize it to put it in my own style. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, yeah. You know, to make it work. So my inspiration comes from many, many things mm. and, and, and just life itself. Yeah. You know, and I go, the person I am now is, is a different person I am 10 years ago. Yeah. So my inspirations are different now than what they were from before. You know? How would you describe the person you are today compared from who you were when you started out in the industry? A lot more growth, um, yeah. better understanding. I don't think people should make any life-changing decisions when they're young. I think you're young, it, it's yeah. all about having um, a great time and yeah. learning and having experiences and soaking yeah. it all up. I think when you start to get into your late 30s, 40s and mm. your 50s is when you're you should be making life life changing decisions wow. about your life. It's very inspiring. I love that. How do you see dance or music, dance or reggae music in the next decade? Do you think it's going to change? Like, if I have I anything see. to do about it, it should <laughs> yeah. be the leading music. I like that. You know, it um, is, yeah, that's actually a very good point. Yeah. If, if there was anything you could change in the music industry, what what would it be? Well, there's tons of things to change, mm. and, and that is my motivation in still yeah. doing it hard. People look at me and say, well. You know, all right, you sold these amount of records, you made mm. this amount of money, right? why are you still yeah. doing that? This genre has blessed me with what I have had. Yeah. You know? But yet still this genre is only 6% of the market share. Maybe less, even less now. Yeah. You know, but yet still every other genre takes from it. You know, you mm. look at pop, takes a lot from it. Hip hop started out of it with Cool Herc. Reggaeton started with, um, El General would, you know, in yeah. Brooklyn when him and I used to run around and he did Shabarang's Dembo over the beat. Shabarang. The beat of, of reggaeton is called Dembo, yeah. which was done by Steely and Cleavy. Wow. So now here's a genre that is a billion dollar genre mm. born out of dancehall. Yeah. Um, you know, of course, Afrobeat. I used to go to, uh, to Africa and we would play stadium. Even though Africa is a huge continent with a lot of culture, mm. dancehall was the main music that was played. Yeah. And of course, now it spins off into Afrobeat. Uh, but yet, still, when you look at dancehall and reggae, it's, it's 6%. Yeah. I, I just think that's, un that's unfair. I think we have to do, but we can't blame anybody else but ourselves as a yeah. genre. Um, the artists, it needs to be education from the artists. Um, and it, it, you know, they, they need to be um, more on top of their, the, the business of music and not yeah, just the music it's business. really interesting. You know what I'm saying? And um, just learn. It's easy to learn now because, you know, everything is online. Yeah, absolutely. And you can't say you don't know anything about the music business or you, you take up your phone and you, you go on YouTube and there's somebody with a tutorial there. telling yeah. you everything. Absolutely. As far as we should not be sitting here competing against people in our own market. You know, mm -hmm. you look at the billboard and, and the top 10 comes out every every week. Mm -hmm. Tan, top 10 Spotify, you know what I mean? Top 10 Pandora, whatever yeah. it is. And that's who you should be competing against. When I write songs, I write songs to compete with those. I'm not writing songs to compete with, yeah. you know, somebody getting a local reggae hit. That makes no, it, that doesn't yeah. move the genre. It's with 6% right. right. of the market share, you cannot have a conversation with yeah. um, Pandora or with, with Live Nation, you know, or, or Google. Yeah. They just won't take the meeting. You're How the 6%. How do you feel um, dancehall music's changed from when you, obviously you're an um, international superstar, Shaggy, and you started off a very long time ago, so you know the game probably more than anyone. Mm -hmm. How do you think it's changed from then to, till now? Well, it's changed a lot. The numbers yeah. have changed uh, drastically. Yeah. And not for the better. You know I mean? I mean let's, let's just talk numbers. You, you look at it and... You know, if you if you go if you go on it, you, you realize that '90s dancehall music is actually selling more than current dancehall music. The old school. How is that? How is that even possible? That means mm. you know. It's crazy. We're, we're not going. Keep we're not. We're it. not improving. We're not going. You know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot has changed in that sense. If if you take away the lyrics, the lyrical content yeah. of of the current dancehall music, yeah. right? and just play the musical bed. There's no dance hall or reggae in it. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Great. Yeah. So at that point, you have to sit down and think about it and say, okay, um, is, are we on the right track here? And yeah. the person, that, if it, that it, if it works, I'm all over it. Yeah. But the fact that it's not working um, should be a red flag. Yeah. 
Well, I feel like you're a big face in dance or reggae music and someone that I'm sure many people across the whole wide world look up to. So, you know, you, I know that you do a lot of amazing things for dance or well, music. Well, the thing is, is, is we're trying to bring people involved. I'm not sitting mm. here as the old guy yeah. from back then complaining about what is going. I'm involved in the new, in, yeah. in it. In the new I'm, just, I'm yeah. just trying to say that I've had more experience and I have a track record to show, you know, that yeah. what, what I'm doing has worked yeah and say okay we need, we need to change the narrative mm -hmm. we need to change the cycle you yeah know what I'm saying so you know if, if, if what I would say to any young artist I say yeah well if it's the old guy doing it was okay well I sold two billion yeah, last I, I streamed two billion last year yeah in your era with banana right and I'm number one in your Mad. era with your stuff yeah with things that I wrote I produce and I do mm. so what is your argument so what would your advice be to to those that are breaking into the industry as a dance or artist that want to be the, the next shaggy I think you have, first you have to work hard yeah but always trying to reinvent yourself yeah and compete you know, how I operate is I look at the guy that's the highest yeah and that's the guy I'm going for absolutely you know, you're not yeah. gonna look at Shaggy and Shah Paul as the top streaming guys in the game yeah. and say, yeah, put them to the side, now go, now go, now go compete against Vibes yeah. Cartel. I, I, I just don't get that. Yeah, it's going to be... You know what I'm saying? You're going you're gonna to go for the guys with the numbers, yeah. the guys that are, that are the top guys, and that's the guy you need to beat. Yeah, for and the real. Guy, and the guy you need to get out the top spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. And that's how I, I've always operated like that. that. You know what I mean? I don't care about the guy that is... You know, he might be cool, he, you know, yeah. he's got the cool thing going on here, but he's not moving numbers, yeah. he's not moving culture, he's not moving anything. Like, I don't give a shit about that. You know what I mean, if you're yeah. thinking about yourself and your career and how you move on, you're thinking about doing, it's gonna go after a while. You yeah. wanna create generational wealth. You know what I mean? You want to be an entrepreneur, you want to have other things happening yeah. in your life. Mm -hmm. You want to leave a legacy. For sure. So you're gonna go for the guys who have done that before yeah. and have the highest thing, and those are the guys that you're going yeah. to meet. Wow. You've had an amazing career, Shaggy, and it's an honor to be here, Thank here you, with you sure. today. So tell me about the Shaggy Foundation. You're doing a lot of amazing things with that. You know, it, it, everything about the Shag Shaggy Maker, the different foundation, really came out of um, just impulse and, yeah. and, and for the lack of a better word it just emotions yeah you know, I, 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 I've been going to that hospital for years um, I went there the first time with a friend of mine but called uh, Tony Kelly my yeah. producer who his son Shane was in the hospital and I had an opportunity at that time to talk to doctors and nurses and realize the type of work they were doing and with, with what little they had and I vowed that once if I had a platform, yeah. I would help. The platform came in the form of, of Hot Shot. Yeah. And I ended up, you know, starting to do it out of pocket for about nine years. I, I paid for things out of pocket until wow. I started to do the concerts. That's amazing. And when I did the concerts, you know, we raised a couple of million and, you know, we did the, the cat lab and, and um, you know, it's really kind of helped. And we continue to support the yeah. hospital because it's, it's not... It's not something you want to do here and there. You know, I've changed my method of doing it now because yeah. we used to keep these massive concerts, but you know, it's no secret. The other day we yeah. had some mishap with, you know, and I realized that I don't have the right partners to do that with yeah. anymore. I can't. There's people that I'm dealing with that I can't trust in. That yeah. Game. So I'll have to find some other ways to, um, you amazing. know, to raise money. Yeah. And still raise awareness and still help the hospital and, and that's where I am. That's great and that's, that's honestly amazing to hear and obviously like I know we're in a pandemic at the moment but how has it been for you not being able to perform in front of like crowds and stuff? I mean I think that's the, that's the, that's the worst part you know performing I came into the music business for the performing aspect of it. Um, of course. I, I do studio work and I produce songs and I yeah. write songs and um, but I, I can't tell you that's my first love it's not yeah. performing is my first love. Yeah. Um, so not being able to do that is, has been hard. Yeah. Um, you know, we can just sit and just yeah. hope that it, it opens back up. Uh, I keep myself occupied. Keep it moving. I, I put quite a lot of um, albums out. I've had some success last year again with yeah. Banana. And I love that. No, with this record, yeah. no. And yeah. we had a Christmas album that came out that was really did well for us, though. That was dope as well. So, we're putting out quality music and we're just kind yeah. of keeping ourselves You're not busy. stopping anytime soon, yeah, Shaggy. Yeah. I love it. Just try our best. That's it. I keep playing your music on radio. So, what's the key to making so many hits? I don't think I don't think there's a there's a formula, <laughs> yeah. so to say. You know, what I mean, it's it's it really just boils down to my ear. Yeah. 
you know, I, I make music selfishly to please myself and hope that it connects with mm. everybody else. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I also have a, my finger on the pulse of what is happening and kind of can gauge what works from what yeah. doesn't work. Absolutely. And it really just was, I, it's funny enough, I, there's a, I'm driving in the car a little while, there was a track that was sent to me from, because we're compiling Spice's album, and yeah. the track was sent to me from Costi. And it had some strings on the front part that he had just put on it. And I called him back and I was like, I don't think those strings work with the melody that she's doing. Yeah. You know, it, it just doesn't fit. And he's like, okay. And then and he went back over, you know, and of course, ended up changing and sending it back to me and calling me and says, bro, I'm glad you pointed that out. It is so much better without it. But, you know what I mean? See? So it's sometimes, yeah. It's, you know. It's yeah, really got, just my ear. ear yeah, it's just, yeah. My, it's just my ear and everybody in my team just kind of rocks with and he was he didn't have any ego about it yeah. because the fact that I, I, have, that I have done it so many times before so he trusts my he, he, yeah. he, he, he trusts my um <laughs> your judgment my, my judgment <laughs> yeah. for the lack of yeah my judgment i love that and and um and just kind of rock with it easy to work with she she understands i'm not saying that if you come now as somebody new telling her and say hey you might need to do this that you might listen <laughs> yeah. and she has said listen. that on interview like, she says so? yeah the regular person that tell me something now yeah. listen to them because i've been doing it and gotten this far by myself <laughs> so far yeah so but if shaggy tells me i'm gonna have, have that course. conversation yeah, yeah because he's gotten places that i'm yeah. trying to go yeah and I just think those are just common sense decisions Absolutely. at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I go around people like Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson, yeah, wow. any of these people, you know, I'm like a sponge. Yeah. You know, and I humble myself and I try, because I'm trying to get to that level. I'm trying, like Sting, you know. I, no, stop it. When I'm, yeah, when I'm working forever. with Sting, you know, I'm, I'm a sponge. I'm, I, Sting has done so much for my life, yeah. for my career, for, for me as an artist and as a person because he's a wealth of knowledge and, yeah. and you know wow. and then of course he takes a lot from me too so it becomes that kind of a, a, such a great relationship amazing how would you describe your yourself shaggy for your fans listening you're like a chilled out person just workaholic i can't tell you what my fans then look at me at <laughs> because that's from them yeah um i i, I would imagine entertaining because mm. That's what I aim to yeah. do is to entertain. Yeah. Um, there's fans that have complained that I'm not as open, you know, but that's my choice. Yeah, you know, I'm uh, not the best yeah. social media type of person. Yeah. Um, and I understand in this generation, people live by that, but I, I'm from another generation, so I don't have to live by that. Yes. Yeah, I'm saying? So there, there might be people that I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with now who says, well, you need to be a little more. I'm like, no, Yeah. I don't need to be a little bit more. And, Besides, I can afford not to be open. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you have to open it, open up yourself to make yeah. a living, by all means, no judgment. But I don't have you to. You don't have to, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, Private life, yeah. My, my, I'm okay. Yeah. I, I, you just made a really good point, yeah. though. You know, you, obviously, when you started out, this whole instant this and that what do you think yeah. about that do you just think it's just a bit of a myth i you know i think it's a great tool yeah, yeah of you course, know you've absolutely. seen so much people right now that have used it to their advantage to make a living i will never have anyone apologize for making an honest living <laughs> yeah and if it's an honest living that's what it is yeah I, you can't you know what i'm saying do whatever you have to do as long as it's not illegal or hurting people to make a living yeah by all means i'm no judgment there I'm just privileged because I came from an era that I've already Didn't made a certain amount of, Amen. of um, <laughs> wealth and certain amount of things yeah. that I don't have to. Yeah. Right? And for me to do it, it would take an, an, a certain amount of energy and, um, me, and it would not be comfortable for me because I wasn't born in that era. You know what I mean? So I, I would be able to do it. Yeah. You know, and I, I think anybody that does, that does that has a level of narcissism yeah. in them. Yes. You know, and I don't have that level of narcissism. I, yeah. You know, I, I, my thing is that when I come on stage, I'm performing. When I off the stage, I'm not. Done. Yeah. I can't be on all the time. You I know? like that. I, 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 You've got to shut off as well. Yeah. It's not, it's I not healthy. Off. Some people they're on all the time yeah. and they like being on because when you're on there's a lot of attention that comes to yeah. you and it develop what is known as wow. what i would call false security you know because you're you feel secure because the attention is on you <laughs> yeah. you know but if the attention on you is not on you you don't feel um secure you don't feel um your worth and you must be able to feel that worth even when the lights are not on yeah, yeah i learned that from sting assisting walk into 
a restaurant and mm. I mean I look at tear up jeans and I flip flop. Yeah. And no jewelry, no not just walking and I love that. and the whole place is just going nuts and buzzing. You know? <laughs> just it's because so of, of just him. It's and crazy. he's just being really easy. Yeah. I I think that's just amazing, you know. Yeah. I mean, that is that that to me is what I love. Mm. You know? Shaggy, you've told the world. What's like one of the, the biggest highlights that stick with you from your memories? I've had some big moments. I, I think I think meeting Michael Jackson playing at his um, wow. 30, 30th anniversary was insane. Was great. Um, it, it's mind blowing in a way because you didn't know yeah. that guy knows knew your name, but not only wow. didn't know your name, he studied everything about you. You know, knew all the songs on the album. It was you know That's I met him real. and I couldn't ask a question. He was yeah. asking me so much questions about me. James Brown was another big one. Yeah. Uh, who just came and sat on stage every night and watched my segment of, of the shows on yeah. the tour. Every night until he came and gave me an incredible pep talk and thought that I was, as he called, the truth. Yeah. You know? So that was moving because these are my heroes and my greats. Yeah. Stevie Wonder is Love another it. one. Yeah. You know, came up and we ended up singing, um, jamming together. You know, and everybody so was covering cool. his song. And the minute I started covering his song while he was sitting, he got up and walked up. That um, is so funny. Which I thought was really, really cool, and you know, we had a conversation afterwards too, you know. So they're they're, they're very strong moments yeah. in it that are big, that are big yeah. moments for me. I love and, that. And I think the biggest is, was was with Sting, you know. That that was probably the best moment of my whole life as far as touring. The tour, say. the album we did together, the tour we did together was the most fun I've ever had in my whole career. Dope. And I do it tomorrow again if, yeah. I, if you know if we decide to do it. I'm praying that you know shows come back, <laughs> come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. after the pandemic. So you know when you started out in the in the music industry, did you ever think that you'd be such a big international icon? Yes. You you knew. Yes, yes. Um, because I aim for it. Yeah, absolutely. I was never I was never somebody. Like I, I went on tour with Maxi Priest. So I was a dancer, a local dancer, artist out of New York doing my thing. And then Maxi took me on tour and I saw him playing in, um, it was Brazil, he played Rock in Rio. Wow. And he was there with him, Nirvana, Simply Red, um, Aerosmith, all of these big rock group. And he came out and him and I rocked the stage tonight. night. And I realized he was in front of 60,000 people who didn't speak his language and sang every line to his song. Wow. And then I remember thinking to myself, but I've never heard a Maxi Priest in a dance yeah. hall. And I said, and it dawned on me at that point. I said, yeah, this is kind of what I want. Yeah. And I just, I never looked back at that point. I just aimed at that, you know. Wow. Even when I was criticized yeah. in the early part for making watered down music and um, what is called uh, making, you know, sell out music yeah. or whatever it is. And, and I've been criticized throughout the years. But there was also, I was in good company because there was also another artist that yeah. was criticized for that and his name was Bob Marley. Oh. You know, because they use session musicians to play over a lot of Bob yeah. Marley music, which ironically are now the blueprint of yeah. what reggae music is. You know, if you listen to all the dancehall records, they're doing hybrids. All of dancehall now is hybrid, which yeah. is kind of what I did when I did it. So, you know, you got to stick with it, believe in yourself. Unreal. And, um, you know, just be a little bit selfish yeah. at this point. I call it self full. Yeah. I'm gonna start using that one. Yeah. Self full. Because everything that you do for you is in the cup yeah. is yours. Anything outside of the cup is yeah. theirs. Joke, Shaggy. Yeah. So that's I'm gonna do. steal that one from him. Like, yeah. Shaggy told me. Self full. Self full. Shaggy, every week on Brunch for Mal, I ask my guests what their idea is of an amazing brunch. But what is a Shaggy brunch? Brunch? Yeah. <laughs> You know, food is a very important part of, li of yeah, life, of absolutely. living, not yeah. just life, but and living. Be <laughs> because we break bread, we communicate yeah. over, over food, we socialize over food. But you have to be careful when you get up to a certain age, you have to be careful the type of foods that you eat. Yes. So I'm not much of a brunch person, to be honest with yeah. you. I probably eat twice a day. Yeah. I don't do breakfast at all. If I do brunch, I call it lunch. Yes. Um, and it will be something, you know, maybe a salad, maybe yeah. something, something with protein, protein filled. Something healthy. As much as I can yeah. try. When I come to Jamaica, I grew up with us. not been healthy. I, I go for my curry goat and my oxtail, and, which is, none of it is healthy yeah, food. I mean, it's comfort food. Yeah. Anything that have gravy can't be good for you. <laughs> You know? For real. But 
um, it's what we're raised on. Yeah. You know, it's like I, I love Carmel Parish. I can't think yeah. I can't think that of, of Carmel Parish being healthy yeah. at all. You know, oh but I'm raised on it. So yeah. you know, it's a balancing act. A so, so for me, um, a good brunch should be the company I keep. I like that. That is yeah. actually a really good point. It can't be boring. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be fun. Some music. Yeah. Somebody some fun. Yeah. Somebody fun. <laughs> so people we are with and just a, a vibe. Yeah. That, I love that, that would be a good brunch. It's really not about the actual food itself. Very good point. I'll take note of that. I love that. Yeah. Well, Shaggy, I love your music. Thank and I, you love, love. I love the dance or reggae culture and I'll continue pushing it Part in the UK. It. I've been listening to the music since I was 10. I know. I remember the interview we did before. Yeah. So I, yeah. I'm, I've been listening to the music since I was about 10, so yeah. I know all about it and it's so lovely being out here with you today. Do you think you'd leave me with a little acapella of one of your songs? Acapella? Yes, a little. Your song, just a little. Early morning love, she get it good from she rise. Me put it down so good that makes she shake off she thighs. Smile upon her face, she beat it good with the... In a ramp, we make them girls a roll all them. Mmm, go down there, why not go down there? Mmm, go down there, why not go down there? They, they can't help but whine and dance. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna get up, I was like, don't get up. <laughs> Give thumbs. You have to have strong thighs. You well, can't do it. Shaggy, I need to get to the gym. And so some of these women have, are, have been doing it in heels. <laughs> Kudos to them, man. That's brilliant. brilliant. The video was dope for that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we know that coming now with the song was great, so we yeah. know we have to have visuals to match it. And so I kind of teamed with J. Will and. Mm really wanted a, a video that was above the regular standard of what dancehall videos yeah. were. I wanted to be competing with the mainstream. Uh, that would mean that it, would, it was going to be expensive. Yeah. Um, so big up the VP for taking a chance wow. on my vision with that and you know, me and Spice and J Will. And um, big up to Sharon Burke for coming in and helping us with a lot of the sponsorships and to offset a lot of the costs for yeah. it. And, um, so. It worked. It, 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 it did well and um, we're great. So amazing. Where did you film the video? It was right here in Kingston. Was it in Jamaica? Wow. A lot of people don't think that yeah. you know, because of how it looked. That I, thought it was, I don't know why I thought so it might have been America. No, it was in the, during the yeah. pandemic. It was right here. It was, wow. yeah, it was at a nightclub. Dope. And are you based in Jamaica or America? I, I live here. Wife, kids and dogs. But my studio is, yeah. was in New York. I'm now in, Maya, yeah. in Miami now with my production team and Amazing. my crew, so I go back and forth. It's an easier, easier commute yeah. than New York. Amazing, Shag. Well, it's been honestly an honor sitting here with you today. Come on, give thanks. And hearing all about your amazing career. I'm wishing you so much more success. All the best, likewise. And I'm it? looking forward to hearing more music from yeah. you. What's, well, what's next for you? Um, it's all about Spice right now. Yeah, love that. You know, it's all about Spice. It's yeah. all about the album. It's all about making sure it comes out uh, a way that she's pleased. You know, it's it's not it's not where the record company is pleased or I am pleased yeah. or, or the, it's where she's happy. It's Amazing. her first one. Um, I want it to be really good for her and I want her to be happy with it. And um, and, and I would love for it to be a masterpiece, yeah. a, a, a classic and a timeless one. So we're working on it, we're working very hard. So it's all about her for now. I love There's that. things down the line that we're yeah. working on also, but yeah. No, let's keep it both spice at this A point. man of many talents. <laughs> I love it. Give thanks. Yay. Thank you so much, Shaggy. All the best, man. One love, man. Much love. Cool. Hey, everybody. This is Shaggy. And you're here listening to Brunch with a Mel. Big up in the set. Early money low, she get it good from she rise. But put it on so good, I make sure she call she ties. Smile upon her face, me know she please with.